I think we have some really great changes coming our way that a lot of folks are going to enjoy. The weather this week, uh, you know, it was kind of disruptive. We had the colder temperatures, we had the wind, we had some thunderstorms, we also had some Sierra snow. We're going to start to get some clarity, some of this starting to move on out of here, and I think it's going to set us up pretty good even into early next week. I did want you to know, though, if you're getting in the car tonight and you're heading up towards Tahoe, Interstate 80, Highway 50, we have had some thunderstorm activity over the past hour, still some rainfall, some heavy your pockets, also some snow over the past level, so be ready for some of those winter conditions. But let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to that storm system that we have been tracking all week long. We talked about how this thing was just basically crawling across the West Coast. It, it started to move in on Monday, and it's still hanging out here over California now. But as we move through this weekend, I do think it's going to start to move more off towards the east, take all that stuff with it, and gradually allow us to get some warmer air to begin to build in. So let's get you all set up on that Saturday forecast and you can see for the morning we'll have some fog at the immediate coastline. Uh, some of that fog down towards Gilroy, still some activity over Tahoe through the afternoon. A lot of sunshine for the Bay Area, but we'll still be watching out for some isolated storms right near Ukiah and Lakeport. So we'll have our eyes on the radar for that and you can see we're lingering some thunderstorm activity over Tahoe again through tomorrow afternoon. But then as we roll through Sunday, as we talked about that storm system really starts to push out of here and Tahoe will also start to get some clearer weather moving on in. Let's go ahead and get you ready for that Saturday morning forecast and we're going to start it off well cold, but not as cold as we've been used to upper 40s and low 50s, mostly sunny skies. Got you at 51 in San Francisco and the North Bay at 47. Daytime highs tomorrow warm up as our storm system starts to slowly inch out. We're about three to seven degrees warmer. Puts us at 73 in San Jose, 75 in Morgan Hill over to the East Bay. Looking good in Antioch at 77. Walnut Creek 75. Oakland still cool by the Bay at 67. Six. Uh, cool as well in Redwood City, 69, but Palo Alto, you're at 72. San Francisco, 50s and 60s tomorrow. Not as windy. Winds out of the west at 17. And through the North Bay, maybe you're going up to Napa, 76. On my seven day forecast, we stay dry in San Francisco. Hold on to those 60s for highs. And for the inland valleys, we're warming it up. Sunday, 80 degrees. Monday, 84. And we'll hold steady with these low 80s as we roll through uh, next week. So I think Mr. Handsome is going to love this. This weather and uh, I don't know. What do you all think about that, Mr. Hanson? That's the the cat, yes. right? Yeah, we got it. I don't know if you guys <laughs> forgot. Okay. No, I didn't forget. It's Surrounded Friday. by Mr. Hanson. Everyone's happy. It's Friday. Thanks.